you probably guessed by this point that uh, we're tree pruning. Um, I've actually got to do both of them, but I only filmed, filmed the big one. Basically, the customer wants about a third of this, the bigger tree. So, uh, I'm basically going to talk through the whole job. And it's not a how-to video, it is how I do it. Not necessarily right, but it's, it's how I do it. Basically, what I do is sort of stand back, look roughly how low I want to take it, and try and visualise the curve. And then what I, I did, especially on this one, being deciduous, I can see right through it. Uh, if it was an evergreen, I certainly have to tackle it a different way. But uh, I sort of try and work out roughly where the centre is and the highest point. And I use the thicker branches first and cut them to roughly where the curve will be inside the tree. So basically I'm cutting only half the wood out uh, to start making that sort of curve shape and uh, if you, then you get it right your sort of tree is dot, dot to dot and you start taking uh, the other half of the growth out. Doing it this way um, I find if I've made a bad cut, if I've cut a little bit low some place I've still got 50% of the growth still in there that I can use to correct that mistake I've made. I actually film this all from sort of basically one angle, but as I make all them sort of, I suppose you call them marking cuts to mark the curve, I continually work my way round the tree all the time to keep that curve consistent. And every few cuts, I stand back and look. Um, I also start from the dead centre and slowly work my way down the sides. Another important thing I do when sort of shaping trees like this is take my time I don't rush these jobs at all uh, you know if, if you make a mistake and you do cut too much out um, and you do lose that shape you, you sort of there's no going back so uh, I definitely find it's it pays to go slower um, but you can actually start to see now some of the cuts are starting to make a sort of a bit of a defined shape just in there now. I was lucky, I had pretty much the perfect weather for this job. Uh, very little wind and dry and a bit of sunshine, which uh, was a bit different from the week before where we was uh, under snow and uh, froze, froze solid. see the curve in the tree take a shape quite nicely now and uh, I was sort of happy walking around the tree looking thinking that shape was right so now it'd be to take the other 50% off um, pretty much just just line them cuts up with my previous cuts At this point, the job does speed up a little bit now because I'm cutting thinner stuff. Plus, the shape is there. I've just got to sort of just be careful not to drop drop them cuts too low. But uh, it's just a matter of just going round it now. But again, I still start from the middle and sort of spiral round and slowly work my way down the sides.
once I was happy with the top and sides, it was just a matter of uh, a little bit, of, a little bit of a prune underneath, tidy it up. And there it is all done. I was actually quite pleased how it came out, and the customer has promised that it will be trimmed every year. So over time, it will get much better defined edge to it as well. So, uh, but yeah, I was, I was actually quite pleased how it came out. All that was left to do at this point was uh, chip the waste up. So, uh, I'll stop talking and let you watch that. But uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you.